Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 12, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and dive right in. So it says, triangle blank has one right angle and appears to have blank sides of equal length. Well, the only one up here that has a little box in a corner is C. And how many sides of equal length does it have? Well, none of the sides are equal, so zero, okay? Triangle blank has one angle greater than a wide angle, so it's open wider, and appears to have blank sides of equal length. Well, the only one that has an angle that is wider than a right angle is going to be A. Now, how many of those sides seem to be the same size? I would say that this side and this side are the same size. That's two, okay? Kyle, Kathy, and Kelly each drew a triangle. Who drew the triangle that has one angle greater than a wide, a right angle? And appears to have no sides of equal length. That's not any angle greater than a right angle. This one has a right angle, so Kathy is the only one that drew one with an angle wider than a right angle. And none of the sides match in size, okay? So, I am going to go ahead and let you guys do five and six. We're gonna go on to the back where you guys are also gonna do the lesson check. Then we are gonna do the spiral review. It says a quadrilateral has four right angles and two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. What quadrilateral could it be? So it could either be a square or it could be a rectangle. Okay, Mason drew a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. What quadrilateral did Mason draw? Well, that shape has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel and opposite sides that are parallel. Yep, that's it. So that would be a trapezoid. All right, what are the side lengths of a rectangle that has an area of eight units and a perimeter of 12 units? So let's do it this way. First off, um, an area of eight. So I need to know how I can make eight. I can make one times eight or I can do two times four, okay? so. This could be one long or one high and eight long, or it could be two high and four long, but it has to have a perimeter of 12. The only way to get that is to do four, two, four, two. So, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna write two units and four units. Okay, if I did one and eight, that would be nine, and then one and eight again would be another nine. That's a perimeter of 18, not 12. Okay, so what fraction of the square is shaded? Well, I know you guys can't really see, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight all together. That's my denominator, and three of those are shaded. That's my numerator. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.7. Come on back for 12.8. See you soon.